Hi Cancer, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, why did your person ghost you? Why did your person ghost you? So we're going to go ahead and figure out why they ghosted you, what their current feelings are for you, and will they be returning back to you? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, why did this person ghost cancer? Why did this person ghost cancer? Please show me. All right, Cancer, first card we have here for you, Ace of Wands in reverse. Might be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. We have the Page of Cups upright, the Three of Pentacles upright, Queen of Wands in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Moon upright. Could be a Cancer like yourself or a Pisces, also a Scorpio. Could be also Earth sign here. Um, this would be a Taurus. Taurus, yeah. All right, so I do see that this person um, has a little bit of an immature energy to them. There's a lot of there's a lot of energy that would suggest that they're younger in age, or they're just someone who acts immature. Especially with the Page of Cups and the Moon here. This is someone who doesn't really know what they want. You know, their moods um, fluctuate, their desires fluctuate, especially with the Ace of Wands in reverse. This can be someone who wants something one day and then the next day they want something completely different, you know? Their, their focus um, changes frequently. Their, their interests changes frequently. Um, their passion fluctuates. I do see that this person wants you, though. I do see that this person um, has feelings for you. They, they definitely have feelings for you. But it's just that they don't, they don't manage their emotions properly. You know, they get scared of their own emotions. Um, they get overwhelmed very easily. Mm -hmm. And with the Three of Pentacles, you know, I feel like this is what this person was missing. Like, um, receiving help, you know. I feel like this person has, has trouble receiving help from people. They don't want anyone, anyone to help them. And it makes it hard for them to be in a relationship because... A relationship is about two people helping each other and supporting each other. Um, but I feel like this person, instead of allowing allowing themselves to receive help, they kind of shut down. They shut down and they um, they become shy and they hide away. Mm -hmm. They lack a lot of confident confidence in themselves with the king of Queen of Wands in reverse. And also with the Eight of Wands, they don't communicate. When they when they're not feeling well, they shut down. They don't they don't tell people how they feel. And and so they become kind of a mystery, you know, with the moon card it's a mysterious energy. 
it's hard to figure out what they need because they they don't express their needs. Um, they're very elusive and very mysterious and unpredictable. I want to say very unpredictable. So I feel like this person just ghosted you out of immaturity, you know, out of someone who just is at this point in their life, they're in a very immature state. And they don't know how to handle emotions really well. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. They have an inferiority complex also. Page of Cups and Queen of Wands. This is someone who has an in inferiority complex. They feel like they're lesser than any than everyone else. Although it might not, they might not show it. Um, for some of you, this is someone who is very loud. You know, sometimes people that are that have inferiority complex, they can be very loud and very like boisterous or very um, dramatic or it could be the opposite someone who's very shy and quiet and reserved all right let's go ahead and clarify ace of wands in reverse please And we have the Five of Wands in reverse. And the Temperance card in reverse. Yeah, so this is like uh like I was saying with the temperance card in reverse, it's like they don't they don't follow through. They don't have follow through. They their passion quickly dies. It goes from in, intense passion to no passion at all in 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 a matter of seconds you know with the temperance card they don't have any patience here it's like they want instant gratification you know this is someone who wants instant gratification they want they want what they want instantly they don't want to work for for it which would be the three of pentacles. This is about working for something, putting effort into something. They don't want to work for anything. They just want things to just kind of magically happen for them. And if not, they become very impatient and they just they five of the five of wands in reverse is someone who like um escapes, you know. They don't confront. They they they're not able to confront things. They escape when they immediately get un, uninterested. All right. Tell me about the Page of Cups spirit. We have judgment in reverse. This can mean that they have poor judgment, coupled with the Page of Cups. They have poor judgment. What else? And the moon in reverse. Yeah, they have poor judgment because they they lean too much on their feelings and their emotions. They they make it too much of a focus and they don't use their their logic, you know. They're not they're not self aware, basically. Tell me about the three of pentacles. We have justice. And we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so Justice and Ten of Wands, I do feel like this person has gone through a lot of um, difficult situations in their life. You know, Justice makes me think of karma. So I feel like this person has been burdened with a lot of negative karma. Um... Either in in their life in general, I want to say with the three of Pentacles in their life in general, they've been they've been struggling from a young age. 
I mean, this could be someone who, who has had to fend for themselves at an early age. You know, they've had to um, be responsible for many things at a young age. So I do feel like they're very burdened here. They feel like there's a lot on their shoulder. They feel like they're carrying a heavy weight. And they might feel like it's not fair, you know, with the justice card. Mm. All right. So what about the Queen of Wands in reverse? We have the Hangman in reverse. Yeah, the Hangman in reverse is someone who's not really thinking clearly, okay? Someone who is uh, jaded. They have a hard time seeing the bigger picture. And I feel like this is what's happening here with the Justice and the Ten of Wands. It's like, you know, they're, they're too much in it. They're too focused on the negative things that they've gone through in their life. They're not seeing the bigger picture of the bigger the bigger purpose of of whatever it is that they went through you know so they're they're stuck in a state of constant suffering you know so this is someone who needs to heal you know from from their past they feel like they've just been treated unfairly um by people or by situations here. Okay, what about the Eight of Wands in reverse? We have Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, that's the same card as this. They're avoiding having a new beginning with you. Um, they're avoiding communicating with you. They don't feel like they're prepared. They feel like... Um, they feel too overwhelmed. They feel like they just have too much on their plate right now with the Ten of Wands. They're too burdened right now. Tell me about the moon. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, so this is someone who knows that they owe you an apology, right? Page of Pentacles. They know they, they, know they, they did something wrong to you. They know they treated you unfairly. They know they took advantage of you. Um, uh, they took advantage of your emotions, or they they know you're hurt by the with the five of cups, or you were hurt. Um, so this is definitely someone who thinks about apologizing, or or who recognizes that they need to apologize. They definitely feel like you're not going to accept their apology though. That's what that's what they have in their mind. They have their they have it in their mind that they're not that you're not going to accept their apology. Okay, so will they be returning back? Let's see. Spirit, will this person be returning back to Cancer? Please show me. Will this person return back to Cancer? We have the Fool upright, Eight of Wands in reverse, the Hangman in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse. I definitely feel, I definitely see this person returning back, yeah. Yeah, five of swords, six of cups in reverse, 
four of cups in reverse. Yeah, they're going to come back to you. They're going to be looking for a new beginning with the Fool card, okay? I almost feel like it's unexpected here. I feel like they're going to surprise you. Especially with the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like they're just going to pop up. They're just going to show up, you know, out of the blue. And... Yeah, and, and surprise you. And they're very scared, but they're hoping that that you accept them. But even though they're scared, I feel like, yeah, they're still gonna, they're still gonna do it. They're still gonna return back to them, return back to you. It's almost like an impulsive decision, you know, with the full card. It's like, it's not really planned out. It wasn't really planned out. It was just kind of, you know, I woke up today and I feel like I have the confidence today, today to do it and I'm gonna do it, you know. It's like one day they just wake up with the confidence. It wasn't that they planned it the day before, you know. So I do feel like they're they're going to be hope coming towards you, hoping that you will um, receive their apology here. All right, Cancer, that was your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.